Mvoice is a vocal synthesis plugin that can sing your lyrics for you. And I actually used this quite a while back in a pre-drop vocal and no one ever noticed. Can't stop What's up and welcome back to my exploration of weird, novel, or boundary-pushing music production tools. Today we're taking a look at Mvoice. And before I get into it, the makers of Mvoice are sponsoring this video, so thank you so much to them. But I only ever cover stuff that I find cool or interesting or stuff like that. So, what is Mvoice? Like I mentioned earlier, it is a plugin that you input your lyrics to and input your vocal melody into, and you can choose from one of three voices and it will sing it. Now, I should be clear here. The sample that I played earlier is heavily processed, and they know I'm going to say this. I probably wouldn't use M voice in a final track, at least not for anything substantial. But what I would use it for is to demo a vocal to show to a vocalist, here's exactly what I want, or even just to try out ideas. So before I get into the details, here is a longer example of M voice in action. Once again, under heavy processing. And once again, I probably won't use this in the final song, but this will give you a pretty good idea of what it's capable of. So yeah, I'm aware this is cheesy as all hell, but this idea has been bouncing around in my head for quite a while now. So it was about time I got it out of my head and into the real world in some form or another. So let me take off all the processing and show you what this sounds like raw. And I will warn you, it is a little rough. The city lights shimmer from afar. I'll take a breath, take in the scene. So it's definitely fairly artificial, but what they've done here is, in my opinion, really cool. So it is pretty good about interpreting the syllables of the lyrics you feed it. At least in English, I've had it just handle anything I throw at it. If it does struggle with a word, you can right click and select alternate pronunciations or even edit the pronunciations yourself. And so each note here in the sequencer represents a syllable. And you can see how this is just kind of a block of lyrics. The city lights. And let me just show you what happens if I move notes around. The city lights. Just mess this up entirely. The city lights shimmer from afar. Pretty cool. Very flexible to work with and can very quickly allow you to demo vocal ideas, especially for people like me who are really into production but aren't vocalists. I have plenty of ideas for stuff involving vocalists, but I'm not going to sing on a mic. That's not going to happen. So this gives me an opportunity to hear a vocal idea in the real world very immediately, which is really neat. And there are even more ways to work with these notes once you've got them. For one thing, in the latest update that dropped super recently, you've got the ability to split notes. So let's say you dropped a note in there and you realized, oh wait, two words need to be on the same note. All you have to do is jump in, split it, and you're good to go. Nice quality of life update. You could also do kind of the inverse of that, where one syllable can get split into multiple notes. And that can be used for things like pitch bends. I live in this moment while it lasts. 
and, if you're patient enough, vibrato. I live in this moment while it lasts. This can definitely go a long way towards some added realism. But now I've returned these notes to their original state, and I can show you a couple of other voices that are available to you. Going further into the realm of testing out vocal ideas, you've got multiple vocalists to work with. The city lights shimmer from the So this is Jay, the male vocalist. I'm wondering how something so artificial. You get the idea. And there's one more, the vocoded voice Thomas. So if you want to lean into the sounding a bit more artificial, this is probably the way to go. The city lights shimmer from afar. Let me quickly play that one in context. The city lights shimmer from afar. Or you could even layer together one of the human vocals with a couple of instances of the vocoded vocal for the kind of Fox Stevenson effect. The city lights shimmer from afar. I take a breath to kill the scene. But like I mentioned, I probably wouldn't necessarily use this in a mix, but I was interested to see how far I could push this vocal to. Uh, be usable in a mix. And this is how I got there. So we've got the city lights, the Lucy voice. I've gone into the built in pitch plugin in Reaper and I'm shifting the formant around. And you can see it's moving automatically because I've got this sent to an LFO that is modulating the formant back and forth slowly over time, which is how you get that evolving effect that you heard in the intro. The city lights shimmer from afar. I'll take a breath, tech in the scene. Intentionally pushing the unnaturalness of it to create what I think is a fairly cool effect. The city light. A bit of compression, and then one of my favorite plugins, Spaced Out. The city lights shimmer from afar. This goes a long way. I'll take a breath, tech in the scene. To making it sound a little more realistic. And then you end up with something that I'm like, you know what? That actually sounds pretty good. <laughs> it sounds a little odd, but uh, I actually, it grew on me quite a bit. A couple of other cool things I want to mention. This actually came in clutch for the process of working on this song. I didn't have the plugin installed on this computer yet and just needed to get this vocal melody out of my head. And so I just punched it into a piano plugin. See, that sounds cheesy as hell. You can see why I now prefer using the vocal synthesis plugin to at least get a much better idea of what the vocal is going to sound like. But regardless, I just needed to get this in here. And what I was able to do is uh, route M voice to listen to this MIDI track. There's like a MIDI capture mode. And then it just seamlessly fed this MIDI into here that I was then able to edit further. So I didn't have to like recreate it or anything. It was actually super easy to work with, which is really nice. That's a nice feature, the uh, MIDI capture feature. And beyond that, there are a few presets for each vocalist. I typically like going with the default and then just adding effects to it. But just to give you an idea of what you have access to, and I've just got rid of the uh, format automation for a second. The city lights shimmer from afar. Some a little different, a little different tone or something that uh, emphasizes hard tuning. The city lights shimmer from afar. Almost the auto-tune effect. And a stuff meant for doubling and layering multiple instances of these vocals. The city lights shimmer from afar. Hopefully you get the idea. That is M Voice in a nutshell. An interesting, fairly strange plugin. It does have a free demo, so if you want to try it out for yourself, you can hit the link in the description. It's a bit limited, but will hopefully give you an idea of whether it's right for you. And then, of course, you can buy the full version if you want to. Thank you so much to M Voice for sponsoring this video. Thank you so much to you for watching. And if you'd like to see some more videos showing weird music production tools, you can click or tap up over here. I'll be back with a new video in a little bit, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything.